teach you some addition of fractions, that's my mission, okay. Just wait, are the denominators matching? In example one, they are so it's easy. But an example two, the first denominator is three. And the second six, the L's and the both the six, you see. So multiply the numerator by two in the first fraction. Multiply the denominator by two. Now that the so same reaction with those fractions, love to add them or we'll subtract them. Are the denominators matching Make them the same? They can't be clashing. Use addition or we'll subtraction in the numerator, yeah, man. some subtraction of fractions that's my mission okay just wait are the denominators matching in example two they are so it's easy but in example one the first denominator is eight and the second is twelve the lcd of both is twenty four so multiply the top and bottom Fractions love to add them or we'll subtract them. Are the denominators matching Make them the same? They can't be clashing. Use addition or we'll subtraction in the numerator, yeah, man. In the denominator, cross the cross. Subtract fractions, it's a blast. So bring the action with those fractions. Love to add them or we'll subtract them. Are the denominators matching? Make them the same? They can't be clashing. Use Subtraction in the numerator, yeah, man. And the denominator to cross. Add subtract fractions, it's a blast, yeah. Now, we gotta chat about simplifying fractions, aka reducing. That means writing your answer in lowest terms, yeah, that's what I mean. Step one. Find the factors of the Newman D9. Circle the GCF. Step three. Divide both the Newman D9 by the GCF in your home free. Now, we gotta chat about simplifying fractions, aka reducing. That means writing your answer in lowest terms. Yeah, that's what I mean. Step one. Find the factors of the Newman D9. Circle the GCF. Step three. Divide Subtraction and the numerator, yeah, man.